Well, praise the Lord, y'all. How you doing on today? And welcome to the Blessed Living Channel, somebody. And we in our Blessed Living Kitchen. Praise the Lord. (laughs) And glory to God. Somebody praise Him. I give Him the praise and the honor. I tell you, it's a blessed day, and we're excited on today. Why? Because God woke us up, and we're alive, and we're thankful, and we're healthy. We're in our right mind, and everything all is well, somebody. And I just want to bless y'all today, and and the household, with a beautiful uh, vanilla pound cake with uh, orange glaze. And I think you're going to really like it. You're going to love it and you're going to make one for your family for your special occasion. So let's get started here. I got all my ingredients over here. Uh, got my three cups of flour, my two cups of sugar, only four eggs I'm using, my butter that's already melting, and I've got uh, my pure vanilla. I've got some Watkins here. And I'll probably use that one. This one's running out, so I was trying to use the last drop. (laughs) And uh, then we'll add just a little oil in there. And then I'll show you how to make the glaze with the uh, confectioner's sugar and orange juice. Okay, let's get started, y'all. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add my butter in the bowl. And I'm going to go in. Let me mix my butter up first, y'all. I'm using my hand mixer. Pastor got me a uh, stand mixer, the bowl and everything. It's beautiful. Guess what? It's brand new in the box. I got to use it. But right now, y'all know me. I like stirring by hand. And I'm going to use this mixer today. I love it. It's going to work. Let's just mix our butter up. Get it going here. Get all our ingredients ready. Okay. Mix that butter up good. And then we're going to add in two cups of sugar. Drop my eggs in one at a time. I'm going to do number this one. I'm going to do the second one. Light and fluffy, y'all. Getting that cake ready. Let's do the third egg. Now, with uh, some pound cakes, you can use six eggs, you know. So, it depends on whatever your recipe calls for. The 
fourth egg. And like I say, you can, some pound cakes call for six eggs. This one's four. It's a stand mixer or hand mixer. They all work good. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is where I'm going to add um, three cups of flour. This is self-rising flour. Now, why I say self-rising? Because if it was regular flour or cake flour, you would have to use baking uh, powder. I've got my cooking milk here. And what I mean by that, this is... The, um, I told you guys we went to BJ's and bought a big bulk of dry milk so that we don't have to just waste our um, cereal milk and milk we drink. And this is good to do that so that you'll have. Now, what I need is two cups of milk, and I'm going to also go by the, the, hot, the consistency. One. I'm gonna go slow with that because I don't know how and I want my uh, texture to come out right. So let's stir this in the better way. Let's get that all in and we'll see how much more milk we need. Let's just let it, let's go as we go. You can smell that butter already. Now that's a little thick, so I'm going to lighten that with a little more milk. I believe I need my other cup. And I'm going to take my spoon, scrape the edges so I can get all that good ingredients in there. coloring like if I wanted to turn this into a red velvet I would just simply add red food coloring. Checking my consistency. That's a little, that, that's, that's pound. I'm going to slowly add just a little more milk for a lighter batter. When, what, how, what, the, 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 
The batter you put in is what's going to come out. That's how the cake's going to be. Self-rising so flour is always good to have. And you can also buy uh, cake flour. They have like swan, bisquick, just a baking, baking flour. But self-rising is, is basically the same thing. I've always kept a lot of self-rising flour in the house. So I can make homemade biscuits and pancakes, waffles, stuff like that. Uh, any kind of bread you find on those things. That's the perfect batter. That's it, y'all. That's looking good. Now, what I'm going to do is get go behind and get some oil. And you want just the right amount of oil. A little vegetable oil for the moist the moisture so your cake is moist and not dry helped us through it. Mm -hmm. We can't do nothing without him. Yeah. Nothing good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. And now I want you to see how I have uh, greased my pan. And when I say grease, I mean literally you just grease it. And then you, um, you uh, pour in some flour, small amount, and shake it around. Literally just shake it around. Get your sides all uh, uh, floured up, you know, you want the flour because you don't want your cake to stick when you bring, get it out, you want to be able to get it out, and so you just, and then this thing in the middle, you want to oil that down with your hand, and just flour that on up so you can get the cake out of there, so we want to make sure that's nice and greasy and everything, so the cake will come out right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoon, as I'm pouring my my cake, put this on the spoon last year. I want to just sort of twist, turn my pan around as I'm pouring, so that I can evenly get this cake in here. And then anything left, I'll take the spoon and help it out. I'm going to gather all the, as much as I can. I'm just getting in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to spread that around evenly so the 
one side ain't higher than the other side. <laughs> we call it the giant slide cake. <laughs> mm. Monica Oliver don't say nothing. Monica say, y'all having fun in that kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, if you got a cookie, you might as well have fun. The oven is set at 350, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put this bad boy in there in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. And let it cook for at least 25 minutes. I'll check on it because uh, I want to make sure you know, everything's cooking evenly. And we'll see you in a minute. Okay, y'all, now we're back and we have um, uh, two cups of confectioner sugar here. And I've got some, a bottle of Simply Orange juice. And, you know, any orange juice. <laughs> I don't want to be saying plugging their name. <laughs> I should have did it backwards until they started paying me for that. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two tablespoons of it. Because I'm going to make an orange glaze, and it's an orange juice glaze for the cake. One, two. Now, when I say two, if I need to add more, I'll know it in just a minute. And, yep, yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more. So I'm going to slowly add the orange juice because you don't want too much. You know, that sugar, it, um, it collects, and it just turns into a, 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 good, a liquid. See, and we, want, we don't want it to be runny. We want it to be a glaze. So I'm going to gather all of this confection of sugar here and just start stirring it up in there. If I need to add more sugar to thicken, I will. But it looks like it's going to be fine. You can also do this with a buttercream glaze by adding butter and milk and confection of sugar. And that's a good buttercream glaze. But this orange juice is going to be good on that uh, vanilla pound cake. I'm going to try to get all the the, uh, the bubbles out and all the, the big lumps out. Just stir. Just stir. Just stir. Let me get a good glaze there. Now see the consistency of it? Mm -hmm. If I need to add a little bit more, then I will. It's only to uh, adorn the cake and make it beautiful and make it more tastier. You'll, just, you'll actually taste the orange juice. You can ask, also add food coloring if you're trying to be more creative. You can add the orange color or the yellow color. I'm going to put just a little more powdered sugar in there. because I don't want it to be too runny on the pasture hold out. Now what I'm going to do is add just a little, little bit. And then I'm going to just work that in. Same way. When you're cooking, you'll know. You'll see, you'll feel what you feel. <laughs> That sound, what that sound like? You don't know what you feel. <laughs> My little granddaughter say, I ain't feeling that, Grandma. I feel you. You feel me? I said, what is this thing about feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> she tell me in a minute, you feel me? <laughs> I said, this is too funny. Mm-hmm. Now that's a beautiful orange glaze. Mm -hmm. Look, and you can smell the orange juice, y'all. And you got the sweetness and the orange juice together, and it'll be the perfect glaze for the for the pound cake when the pound cake is done. So the pound cake's still in the oven. We're gonna let it keep going. And our glaze is ready, y'all. Okay, y'all, now we're just going to uh, take our 
orange glaze, which is confectioner's sugar and orange juice. Mm -hmm. And we've taken the cake out. It's still a little warm. I like to really. And we're just going to let the orange glaze pour down the sides. The butter smells so good. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take it around. Mm-hmm. Yes. Get that there. Boy, it smells so good, y'all. Nice, good treat. Yes, yes. Let's take advantage of all this good glaze here. have to be perfect just good how y'all mm -hmm. like that now oh i tell you that's a vanilla pound cake with some orange orange glaze mm -hmm. smells good okay and how y'all think about that now and i tell you it's smelling good in this kitchen mm -hmm. it really makes you want some right away <laughs> like yeah, clean up my yeah. mess here mm -hmm. and what i'm going to do is get a plate mm -hmm. and give y'all the first piece Oh, yeah. Let's just cut into that. Hold on to that pan there. Mm-hmm. A nice big chunky piece. Mm-hmm. Oh, that came out beautiful. Mm-hmm. Y'all see? Look at that. Yes, yes. And that's just a vanilla pound cake, vanilla, vanilla butter. And with the orange glaze, mm -hmm. and I tell you, it's smelling delicious. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I just am thankful for that. And uh, I think I'm going to put another piece on this plate. Yes. Yeah, Just take advantage of it. Why not? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Got to swoop some of that good glaze that's falling around the side. I should have let it cool off just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's a good treat there. I tell you, nothing like it. Yes, Ooh, yes. glory to God. That's mm -hmm. smelling good. You can And you can look at it, y'all. Look, pour some of that over yes, there. Yes. <laughs> and so there we have it. Mm -hmm. A nice snack for you and your family on today. Yes, yes. And I'm going to let Pastor taste the first piece. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, mm, smells so butter rich. So buttery rich. Yes, it does. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take the first piece, Pastor. Mm hmm. What do you think about that? Mm hmm. Nice, good My orange Lord. glaze, vanilla butter pound cake. My Lord, that is it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy because I'm going to have me some too, y'all. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and y'all going to make it and have some too. Yes, Lord. And we just love y'all. Welcome new subscribers. Y'all like and share. Give us a good comment. We'll meet you in the comments, y'all. Yes, we will. And, uh... Be blessed and safe on this week, and I'm going to come at y'all with some uh, some cookies. We're going to do a cookie tray, and then some more dinner dishes. So uh, I tell y'all, stay tuned. We love you, and I'll see you next video. See you later.